All right, this will be take two of the YouTube video for consistent Twitch headers. All right, so let's go quickly to my Twitch page. And go to channel. And here we have their headers that I was talking about. Instead of using the uh, text headers that Twitch provides you, filling out right here, you can add an image to create custom headers. And this is what they can look like for you. Now, I had a problem with setting up the consistency for the fonts so everything looks the same when I was doing my uh, edit uh, creation and I use GIMP for that so let's go over there um, here's a YouTube one <coughs> see what else can I add let's see set up I'll just, I'll just show you these a couple of how I did these All right. so going to GIMP and Again, by the way, is free software. Da, 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 da. Logos. Going to create logos, and I use this one right here, glowing hot. Now, here's the kick in the head. If I just put this like it is, I'll just go daily, daily. Walk three, six, five. Oh, sorry. Select your font. The font I use is Script Bold. <coughs> and everything else stays the same. Now, if I just keep it at 150 pixels, you're going to get a large image. All right. So I'm at 100%. My screen resolution is at 100%. And the pixels is up here at 1238 by 311. Now, Twitch, when you go to edit these, tells you that images will be scaled to 320 pixels. That's fine. I could upload that other image just fine, <coughs> and then they'll reduce it down. But here's what it will look like when it's done. Uh, this is all they do. They do a scale image, and it's consistent. In other words, uh, it's bit for bit, percentage-wise. So I go down to 320. So Twitch is going to reduce it down to 320 by 80, and this is what it'll look like. Okay, take the background off so I have a transparent background. Okay, let's make another one. Let's go to File, Create, Logos, and I use Glowing Hot. <coughs> this time we're going to do uh, TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak 3. I don't know better yet. Better example about. We'll leave the same. Fonts already selected. Click OK. Here's my image. Here's the old image. Here's the new one. So I gotta take this off. Transparent background. Image scale 320. Boom. Okay. This is way. This is exactly how it'll look in Twitch. Okay. Can anybody see the difference? Font sizes are way out of proportion. Now imagine you have a couple of different words in there that were for headers, for, you know, in your boxes here, you know, like this. You got and it's say setup is a different size. Uh, about games I play is a different size. Well, Twitch is going to reduce that down to 320 pixels, but it also changes the height of the picture, which in turn changes the font, how the font looks. Okay, and it, it'll look, it will look bad, very bad. I did that at first, and I had to find a way, and this is what I found. So we'll go back to GIMP, kill this, and we'll keep this one because I don't want to close out GIMP. So go to create, logos, uh, glowing hot. Now, through trial and error, let's go to daily walk 365. 
Now through trial and error I determined that 38 pixels will bring me closest to 320 pixels wide without going over. Okay, And I also assumed that with all the headers that I would want on my Twitch page Daily Walk 365 would be the largest going across. So I want to base my largest font that I can go here I am pointing right here based on my largest word that I'm going to use to be used in Twitch. All right, so click OK. This is the image we get. We can kill this one now. Turn off background. Now we're at 314 pixels by 78. This will be our standard <coughs> size, so to say. Basically, the 78 won't change because now we're going to go to image. Don't scale image because if you scale the image, it's going to change your uh, not only your uh, horizontal but also your vertical. All right. Now you can get it to not change, but it'll stretch it out. You don't want to stretch it out. You want to look exactly like this because this is the the font 38. All right. So we're going to go to image canvas size. We're going to just change the canvas size. Make sure that see that's chained. That's pixel for pixel. This is unchained. Make sure it is un unchained up here 320 notice the uh, 78 stayed the same but now we need to center our picture so click center it'll automatically adjust it horizontally because we didn't change the height and resize and this is our new image and I'll scroll in so you can see that the border is in fact outside right here there's a little extra couple of pixels here that it added to each end of the picture and now my picture is perfectly centered and at 320 pixels so I export that as doo -doo -doo. let's just go pictures, no that's not what I want um, well pictures twitch there we go and we're going to save this as either a png file or a gif file gif um, i always use png because i believe it's a better quality picture <coughs> um, a lot of people like to use gif if they're using animated little animated pictures that have transparent backgrounds gif is perfect for that very small file format, but PNG for regular, just a single image. I used PNG. Uh, go ahead and name it Daily Walk Temp because I already have a daily walk in there. These are my how I have mine set background color. Save the background color because that's your transparency. Uh, save resolution. Uh, you can. It's up to you to save creation time. And da, 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 da. compression level. I've had that the highest comp compression level because PNGs compress very well. Export. Export now. I have my image. Now I go into Twitch and I'll just make up a new one here. Temporary kind of thing. Twitch. Uh, we're not going to have a title, but we're going to add an image. So we go into my pictures. Twitch and I said daily walk. What a temp right here. Don't touch nothing. Leave everything as it is and hit done. Done. It loads it in there. Uh, something about this. Panel and submit. Now scroll down. There's your font. <clears throat> now, if I was to hold this, well, that's too bad, but you can compare. It looks doggone near the same. Actually, it does. It's actually identical. But, see? It's the best I could do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to spend. So that's how I create. And then let me see. show you another one real quick so you can see this, the smaller one. 
So we go to File, Create, Logos, select your style, and let's do an About. Keep 38, OK. Clear the background. Go to Image, Canvas Size, and we're going to change that to 320. And Center. Boom. Resize. This is our new image. Just that easy. Go to Export, As, and we'll call it About, About Temp, because I already have About in there. And da, 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 Export. Done. Now we go back to Twitch, Edit Panels, Add, Image, uh, About Temp. Don't touch nothing, just hit Done. And something about, about, about. <laughs> Submit and turn it off and there it is. Beautiful thing about this way of doing it is for one all your images are going to be 320 pixels wide so Twitch will not touch this image. Okay. Another good thing about it is all your images are 78 pixels tall so <clears throat> it looks like if you look here these paragraphs start all exactly in the same pixel location under the header. That's beautiful too. So that's two key reasons why you want 100 or 320 pixels wide in your GIMP using image canvas size and center after you set 320 click center all right, export it as a PNG file like this, and then go to Twitch, edit your panels, da -da, add your image, and is it going to? Oh, sorry, done, and submit it. <coughs> And all your headers will be perfectly centered. They will have the perfect uh, distance before your paragraph starts. And everything will be in line and just really nice to look at. <clears throat> Not all sloppy and out of size and everything like that. So that's about it for this video. Um, I got uh, my Twitch channel here. Please go to it and uh, be a follower of me. I'm a new Twitch uh, streamer. So as I learn more, I improve my channel, and I am also passing along my information that I find to other Twitch users and YouTubers. Um, <clears throat> you can find me on YouTube at DailyWalk365 also. And don't be shy to uh, visit there and subscribe and follow me on Twitch, and thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Thanks.